welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we're at Chick fil A. We decided to do a Chick fil A review for you on things that we've never had from Chick fil A. Now, we've had a lot of things from Chick fil A. We've had their sandwiches, we've had their nuggets, we've had some of their salads, some of their soup. But I think we found some stuff that we haven't had. So, that is going to do. I guess, oh man, guys, I almost dropped this whole box. That is going to have the grilled chicken uh, club. And it's got Kobe Jack on it. He has not done this one. He did the, just the regular grilled chicken and he liked it. So, this is the grilled chicken club. It has bacon, uh, the grilled chicken, Kobe Jack, tomatoes, and lettuce on it. And. They don't put a sauce on their sandwiches. They recommend like the honey barbecue. And I asked him if he wanted that and he said no. He wanted mayo. So we do have mayo. I'm going to put some mayo on that for him. But let's just introduce what else I'm going to have. The kale crunch, guys. The kale crunch side salad I'm going to try. I've never had that. I also got a cool ranch wrap, guys. Is it a cool ranch? Is it a cool ranch? No. It's the cool wrap. It's the Chick-fil-A Cool Wrap. That's what that thing's called. And I've also got a frozen coffee I'm going to try. So that's that's what's going on. almost looks like a chocolate shake, but it is not. It is a frozen coffee. Let's get Dad started, and then we'll see what all my stuff is tasting like. And let Dad start on his sandwich. I am going to put mayo on here for you, Daddy. Somehow. I'm balancing on my leg and my console and on top of my salad. I'm balancing everything over here. Let's put one whole pack of mayo. I think that that'll be probably plenty. Let's go. Well, I got it on my hand. Or the side of my hand. I got it like on my thumb. Guys, here's what it looks like really quick before I hand it over to Dad. That's the size of it. It's about the size around, the bun is about the size around of a baseball. I'm going to let Dad get started. Everything looks nice and fresh on there. It's a grilled chicken, Dad, so it's not a breaded chicken. And he had one before, like I said. He had um, just the regular grilled chicken, but he didn't do the club one. So that's why he's doing the club one. Okay, guys. I got to get started with this. I got to try this and I got to make sure I got everything that I got with it here. So, I saw another reviewer do this and he said it was so good. His name is Timmy Takeout. Um, I haven't conversed with him or talked to him, but I watch him. He was one of the ones I used to watch all the time before I started doing reviews. But I watch him from time to time, especially if he's doing something pretty interesting. If you haven't checked him out, please do. Timmy, Timmy's Takeout is his name. Timmy's with apostrophe S takeout. Um, he's quite funny. He's a young guy. And anyway, he ate this and he made it sound like it was so good. And I've heard other people say that this, this kale crunch is good. So I'm gonna try it out, guys. It comes with roasted, a pack of roasted almonds. I'm gonna put this, put that on there. I wanted to tell you what's in it. If I can find my paper, I'll tell you what's in it. First off, I want to say kale. I've had kale and like other salads, and I think kale's got a bitter taste, okay? Uh, and I'm hoping that, I'm just hoping I'm going to like this, okay? Because that's the reason why I never got this, because I thought I wouldn't like it, okay? So we're going to try it today. So it's curly kale and green cabbage tossed in an apple cider and Dijon mustard vinaigrette topped with salty, crunchy... Roasted almonds, that's what's in my packet. So, I want to give this thing a little shake before I even open it up to make sure it's, you know, got all the dressing on it. And... Let's get my, get my roasted almonds on here. I do want to say that sandwich that Dad's got, now we added mayo, I don't know how much, how many calories is in a pack of mayo. But that sandwich that Dad's got is only... Uh, 520 calories and whatever a packet a packet of one of these mayos is. I'm not really sure what the packet of mayo is. So if you're kind of trying to watch your uh, calorie intake, I mean, I think that's a pretty good sandwich for that amount of calories. 
Now, I, do, I cannot remember the calories on this kale. It can't be too high. I mean, the dressing is what's giving you calories. A little bit of almonds. I can't imagine it being very high. Let's give this thing a whirl, guys. Okay. Okay. My nose is itching. Try to swallow. It dawned on me the other day. A lot of times my nose will start itching right before we, right when we're eating or starting to eat. What's that old wise saying, Dad? Like when your nose itches, you're going to talk to a fool? I don't know. Or something <laughs> like that. What's that old wise saying, saying guys? Something about if your nose itches, you're going to talk to a fool? It's not lying, is it? If your nose itches, you're lying? No. I feel like it's like if your nose itches, you're going to talk to a fool. There's an old saying. It dawned on me the other day that there was an old saying. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I got some stuff to say about this kale salad. Okay. For one thing, I think that's what everybody is probably going crazy over is that vinaigrette. It's kind of sweet, tangy, and I think that is what's cutting down on the bitterness of the kale. Now, I can still taste like the greenness, if that makes any sense. I think you guys understand me what I'm saying. Um, like when you eat cabbage, or you eat broccoli, or Brussels sprouts, there's like that green flavor. Um, plant flavor. I don't know. There's that greenness flavor is what I call it. I can still taste that a little bit, but I think it's the dressing that's really making this good. Okay. It is. It's definitely the dressing that's really making this enjoyable. Now, how enjoyable, right? You're probably saying, ew. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I would get this again, especially if I wanted like a side. Um, I really, I'm not big into fries, waffle fries. I'm not really big into waffle fries. A lot of times when we come to Chick-fil-A, I don't want a side because I feel like, other than the fresh fruit, I do like their fresh fruit. There's no other side that I really want. I would get this from time to time. Actually, I kind of like this better than just like sitting and eating like a side salad. I think it's the crunch from the walnuts and it's that dressing. Our dressing's really good. It's got like a tangy sweet flavor. Man, I'm trying to think of a score on this thing. Like I said, I would get it again. I'm gonna give this thing, this, this kale crunch salad, I'm gonna give it a very solid eight, okay? I'm not saying it's it's the most fantastic thing, but if I really wanted some side that I thought I wasn't going to go crazy, like with the calories and I was trying to keep it, you know, nice and clean tasting, I would eat this. But I would have to have, I couldn't just eat this. I would either have to have some grilled nuggets or some of the nuggets, you know, the fried nuggets or whatever in this. Then that would be a perfect lunch for me. Or even this in a small cup of soup. That would be a real a lighter lunch for me. So, I mean, I would get this again. I recommend it. If you haven't tried it, please try this kale, kale crunch salad and let me know in the comments. If you've already tried it, let me know. What would you score it? Do you get it very often? Is it one of your things? Let me know. I would get it again. I don't know. I'm a little shocked by it, honestly. I got to try this frosted coffee. Now, I just got to put, you only get, there's only one size, okay, as far as I know, and I think you can get like chocolate syrup added to this, or like chocolate sauce added to this for like 40, 40 uh, cents, and you can get um, cookie crumbles added to this for like uh, 40 cents, 
And that brings me to the fact that she said that we had the receipt. There it is. I forgot to tell you the prices, guys. I forgot to tell you the prices. So Dad's Grilled Chicken Club with the Kobe Jack. Just the sandwich is $8.55, guys. My kale crunch salad was $4.15. My frosted coffee is $4.69. Now, like I said, I didn't add the chocolate sauce. I didn't add those cookie crumbles. I just got the frosted coffee. Let's give this thing a whirl. It's sweet. It's sweet, but it's not as, you know, like those frappes that you get from, like, McDonald's or the frappes you get from Starbucks. No, those are super sweet to me, okay? This isn't as sweet as that. You can still taste the coffee. They got a little cream, like sugar, or not cream, but like ice cream or something mixed in this. But it's not a shake. It's icy, too, so. This thing's pretty good. I would get this again. I don't like the price of it. Four sixty nine for this little thing. I wouldn't get, you know, that's kind of expensive. But I would get this again. Ah, I'm gonna give this an eight point five, an eight point five out of ten. This frosted coffee. Well, I know Dad needs a drink. I was too busy with my frosted coffee, guys. <laughs> this thing is. I would. I possibly, now I'm talking about the, the cost, right? I'm griping about the cost of it. I possibly would, uh, let me move this over. I possibly would uh, put the chocolate syrup in there if I was wanting to go a little crazy. Now, I don't know the calories on this thing. Like I said, if you add chocolate syrup, I think it's 40 cents more. And there's a cookie, there's cookie crumbles I think they offer. That's like 40 cents more. It doesn't need the cookie crumbles, but... I really don't need the chocolate syrup, but if I was wanting to be a little extravagant, I might add the chocolate syrup to that. Okay, Dad, let's talk about your, I, I still got my um, cool wrap to try, but let's talk about your, uh, your grilled chicken, your grilled, club. yeah, your grilled chicken club with Kobe Jack cheese. Let's talk about that. Um, did you like it? It was very good. It was very it good? It was very good. Okay. You ate it pretty fast, so, <laughs> um, the lettuce and tomato and everything was everything nice was there. fresh everything was fresh all the way down to mm -hmm. did you taste the uh, bacon on the there? tomato the bacon cheese lettuce everything wow okay. everything was uh tasty would you get that uh, it was it was uh I, I would buy it again you'd get it again even I though even though it was eight dollars and fifty-five cents just for yes. that sandwich. Did we you get it again? I would buy it again. Okay, okay. Um, so you like that grilled chicken? It doesn't taste dry or anything. It tastes seasoned. Chicken well. was good. The the chicken was fresh. The chicken was watery. It's just it not. It's feed. not. Right. It was. It was soft. Yeah, it was easy to chew through. It was soft okay. and uh, easy to chew. That's good because and the, of dentures, the guys. The bread was uh, good, mm -hmm. and the cheese was good. Mm -hmm. Everything was. Uh, I had. I, I had to be a ten. Okay, you think it's a ten? It is a ten. Okay, um, so Dad thinks that the uh, grilled chicken club is a ten. Um, I, I got like, mayonnaise on it. You like and, the mayonnaise on it? Mayonnaise is exactly right with the tomato. Okay, I was going to ask you a question though, because I know you're. You're ahead of me. You're a little bit ahead of me here, okay? So you got the Kobe Jack cheese. That's what it normally gets, guys. Mm -hmm. But you can get it with other cheeses, Dad. You can get it with, instead of Kobe Jack, you can get it with American. Or instead of American, you can get it with Pepper Jack. Do you think you would like it with the Pepper Jack on it to give it a little, maybe a little zip to it? Because I know you like pe uh, Pepper Jack cheese at home. I always say American. Uh, American cheese. Well, well that, was that, that was Kobe Jack. So my, well, I my, know. my question is, is, do you think you would get the Pepper Jack I think Pepper Kobe Jack, Jack was uh, tasty. Okay. Uh, tasty with it. Okay. Um, 
one more question. I, I we're kind of like missing my, we're missing my little step here. Okay, um, you like pepper jack cheese, so would you instead of Kobe Jack, would you think maybe no, some, no, I, you wouldn't. Mess I, with I it? think it would. Uh, I would think it would the Kobe, the cheese. Yeah. It just the they put on it, it was exactly right. Okay. And that bun, that bun is a multi-grain brioche bun. It's more like a little bit healthier bun than you yeah, like that? It is a fresh, a fresher bun. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a tasty sandwich all the way through. Okay. All the way through. Cool. I'm glad you really liked it. I might. I eat it. I eat it. <laughs> yeah, he's done eating, and I'm still eating. I'm, still, <laughs> I'm not even done here, guys. Yeah. I want to try this out. This is their. Uh, it's the Chick Fil A Cool Wrap, guys. How much did they charge me for this thing? Um, eight dollars and eight dollars and twenty five cents for this. Um, it comes with a sauce. I pick. They recommend the avocado lime dressing i'm gonna try it without the sauce so it's in a wrap so let me get this wrap off of here and i want to tell you what's on it too let me i guess one thing at a time right <laughs> one thing at a time um so the cool wrap has grilled chicken breast mixed greens leaf lettuce shredded shredded monterey jack and cheddar cheese in a flaxseed flour flatbread. So I'm going to try it without any sauce first, guys. It looks like it's pretty full of stuff. Okay. I could eat this plain, but... I feel like it needs a little something else. So let me open up this avocado ranch and try it on there. I, I really do like this. I've had this ranch before. Now, it, was this my, ranch. it was my club. It, it, it tastes the mayonnaise. Yeah, because I, yeah. It you like tastes the mayonnaise. good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm, I got my brain stuck on okay. something here. Okay. So this avocado lime ranch, guys, I've had before. So I'm going to try a little bit on here and see. Okay. This is a hundred percent better with this with this dressing on it. <laughs> now, if I was trying to watch my calories, I could eat it without the dressing. Okay, but this dressing is delicious on here. And they have a lot of other dressings. They have like some other vinaigrette that's lower in calorie. I think that would be good on here. They got a light Italian. I think that would be good on here, just to put a, put a couple little sprinkles on. If you're trying to watch your calories, because this avocado lime dressing, I know it's pretty high calorie. Yeah, this whole packet's like 310 calories, guys, if you, use, if you use this whole packet. Okay, this wrap. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to talk about this wrap here. You need a napkin. The way you eat it, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Dressing. I could eat it without the dressing if I was watching my calories, and I forgot to look at the calorie content on this, but I could eat it without the dressing, but that avocado ranch dressing does make it 100% better, right? And I think I would like that with their other sauces, their Chick-fil-A sauce. If you have a favorite sauce from Chick-fil-A, I think it would be good on that. Even that honey. Oh, I have some. I'm going to do one more bite if I can find... So Dad's sandwich came with the honey roasted barbecue. He didn't want that on his sandwich, so since I got it, I'm gonna try a little squirt of that. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> sauce. It's a good sauce. Yeah, we've had you've had well, you've yeah, had this I, the I, honey I, roasted one. We had it on nuggets or something once, yeah, and we liked it. I'm gonna try a little bit of that on here, and I think the calories on this. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. I think the calories on this is a little bit less, but there's not much in a thing. Mmm. I'm good on there too, okay? 
That was good on her too. So, she acts like she relaxes it. Uh, <laughs> really I like good. both of them. So I would like it. I gotta have a sauce on it, and then I really like that wrap. So I'm thinking about a score for this wrap. I'm giving you two scores, guys. Okay? Without any sauce on it, and you're trying to be good on your calorie count, and trying to be good, right? Without any sauce, I say it's like a, an 8 out of 10. But with the sauce, any sauce you pick. I just tried the honey roasted, whatever that is, right. barbecue. That's very good on it. Um, I also tried it with the, the avocado lime ranch. With the sauces on it, I'm sorry. It's more like a vehicle for the sauce, right? That wrap is more like a vehicle for the sauce. With the sauce on it, I would give it a nine out of 10 with the sauce on it. It's just got, it's gotta have some sort of sauce. You don't have to use a lot, just a couple little dribbles, but it, just to give it that extra flavor. That, those, that wrap is good, I would get that again, and I recommend it, guys. I do recommend it. it, it it's a good little sandwich if you're trying, especially if you're trying to watch like how much bread and carbs, because that is made with flaxseed. So I think that I recommend that. That's. I, I would recommend all the club size chicken club. <laughs> the grilled chicken club. <laughs> the grilled chicken club, and it's 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 very tasty. All the way through, all the way through, that's good. and that's good. Yeah, you you just kept on going. You didn't yeah. stop, did you? Yeah, it's gone. all gone, and it, <laughs> it's feeling. I still got kale salad, and I still got some wrap to eat. I guess I got plenty to eat, and I'm starting to get full. Yeah. Starting to get full. I got a lot of lettuce in there, and I got some drink in there. I'm not totally full, guys. Don't get, don't get, don't come for me. I'm not totally full. But I, I, this is how I eat. I eat a few bites of this, a few bites of that, have a few drinks, and then I wait a while. And then I go through the whole spiel again. That's just how I just, that's just how I eat, guys. So, anyway. Plus, I don't want to sit here and, and eat all this and then try to talk to you and say yeah. goodbye and drive <laughs> home and do my mm. other chore. I gotta go to the, you know, I gotta go to the post office. So I don't want to sit there and feel like I'm so full and then have to go to the post office and do all those things. Can you guys relate? I know other people's told me they eat like me. They'll eat like part of their stuff, take the rest home or, it's, you know, vice versa. You're at home, eat half of it and then eat the other half later. It's just how I do is this what I do. That's me. That's just me. We're all different, right? <laughs> anyway, Excuse me, goodness gracious. Guys, these prices nowadays, these prices, let's talk about these this. These prices are ridiculous. Yeah, let's talk about this. So, Dad had a sandwich, right? And are you feel, you feel pretty full? Dad? Yeah, it's, it's filling. It's good sandwich. It's, yeah. a, it's a good filling sandwich. Yeah. These prices, guys, you saw what we got. I got the kale salad. I got that wrap. I got my drink. Dad brought his drink from home, and he had that sandwich. It all come to total 20 five dollars and 64 cents guys i was born in 1972 okay and i remember <laughs> back in the day we didn't go we didn't go to fast food very often when we did go to fast food it was like a special treat okay i didn't start going to fast food more often until i was like higher in my teens okay most of the time mom stayed at home we cooked because we had to make money stretch right yeah. But I remember going to McDonald's back in the day and mom getting mad, you know, me and her, just me and her go and she'd get a meal and I would get a meal. Oh, I'm probably like 10, 11. I don't know. I remember her getting mad when the bill was like five or six dollars. You know what I mean? Like her going, man, that's a lot of money. <laughs> now we're looking at this meal, I don't even consider this a full-on meal because Dad didn't get fries or he didn't no, get a drink or nothing. It, he just got a sandwich. Not, need it. Well, I know, but you just got a sandwich. <laughs> no. You just got a sandwich. Yeah, I, I got a wrap and that salad and a, and a coffee and $25.64. I know, guys, these prices. These prices. Um... There's a question in my mind. Is there going to be, is it, is it going to become a time where 
It's got to be a while. Well, is there going to come a time where these restaurants are like overpricing themselves? They're already overpricing themselves. But do you think there's going to come a time when restaurants are overpricing so much that they won't get enough patronage? You know, they won't get enough customers and they'll go out of business because people, you know, not many people... I know quite a few people that can't afford to go to like Chick-fil-A and spend $25 just on two people. Okay. Say if it was, you know, a husband and a wife and kids or, you know, two, two moms or two dads, it doesn't matter. And then kids, you're, you're talking now 50, 60, $70 for Chick-fil-A. That's, that would be crazy. Don't you think? Yeah, like, yeah. so I just some to, some to look at. Uh, I just I'm afraid that some of these restaurants are gonna close up because people are struggling. You know, they want to go to Chick Fil A or they want to go to McDonald's, and I've heard Wendy's is hiking their prices. They're all hiking their prices, but I think Wendy's is gonna do some sort of fluctuation thing. I'm not sure. I haven't watched that whole news reel on that, but anyway. Do you think that it's going to cause, like, some of these restaurants to go out of business because people's going to go less and less I and think less? It's, I think it's something to look at and uh, to, to reflect on. I don't know. I don't know if it's to worry about it or... I know. I, I mean, I understand intellectually why the prices are going up. It costs more to ship the, you know, food to the the... The restaurant, right? The diesel costs, the shipping costs, and all that. And plus food is going up and all that. And then the workers. The workers are getting paid more. You know, I worked in a restaurant and I only got paid $3 an hour. You know what I mean? Back in the 80s or whatever that was. 80s and 90s. Um, so now the, you're the, guaranteed uh, $14 at least. A lot At of least. Them. Well, some of them more. <clears throat> some of them more. Mm -hmm. And depending on what's part of the country, out in California, it's even more than that. In our part of the, our part of the U.S., I mean, it's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, just for you know, just the regular worker, not the manager and the supervisor and all that. But still, it's just, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared for our dining experience i'm scared for it i really am especially the fast food industry because the fast food industry has always kind of been like oh it's cheaper i can grab it easy you know i can afford that better than a sit-down restaurant but right. man this price is 25 dollars. that's like a sit-down restaurant you know right. so it just got me scared for the fast it really scared for the fast food industry i mean the sit-down restaurant you pick and choose you don't go to sit downs a lot I mean, some people do, but I mean, in general, a lot of people don't go to sit downs a lot. So I'm not so worried about the sit down restaurants. I'm more worried about the fast food industry. We'll find out, I guess, you, you know, so that's why me and dad do our reviews. We don't want you guys wasting your money on stuff without knowing or being informed by it. That's why we do the reviews. We hope we can point you in the right direction. So you're spending your money more wisely and you're getting things that, you know, at least you've heard that they're good and you're not, you know, like getting it and being like, I can't eat this or I'm done waste my money. That's why we do these reviews. We hope we're informative enough to help point you in the right direction for the good food. Okay, guys, that's why we do this. And um, we also do this because we love we love the connection with you guys too. So keep keep with the right. great keep with the great comments. Um, there's so many times that I told Dad, you know, you all like to watch him eat, and um, Dad, I don't. I've said it before. You got a fan club. You got a fan club growing out there. Uh, I don't know. You do. <laughs> You do. You got a I, fan club. Some I of don't them know say that they love George. Because uh, I am, I am who I am, mm -hmm. and uh, my voice has changed, <laughs> and my uh, I, I drag stuff out, and I can't, I can't defend myself. <laughs> I, I really have See, bad. Have bad. That's what I. That's what I tell him, Dad. They love you, honey. They don't. They don't care if, you know, it takes you t five minutes to figure something out. Most of the time, they're hollering at me because I'm trying to help you 
like you know talk about something or ask you questions a lot of times people are telling me to be quiet and let dad talk yeah and um we both do it to each other we over talk each other guys yeah. if you haven't noticed yeah, sure. i'll be sure. talking then dad will talk or dad will talk then i will talk we do it to each other we don't take offense to it between us you know what I mean? We're we're father and daughter. We've lived like this for years. <laughs> I just Forever. Yeah, so I mean and I don't take offense to it, you know. Dad doesn't take offense to it, so we hope you guys don't. You know, what's all in good fun, right, Day? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. We always repeat ourselves anyway, so sooner or later we hear it, right? We just right. repeat it. we just repeat the same conversation. Oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> okay, guys. We're done jibber-jabber. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.